Okay, so what I want to look at right now is um, squares of Fibonacci numbers. And I'm going to find out that they, they follow an easy to follow pattern. And so, for instance, let's start with um, 1 squared. And so I just introduced this 1 here for kicks, but essentially this is the same scale I used last time. Anyway, getting back to the point, this Fibonacci number squared is just 1. And now I'm going to only do every other one, and so 3 squared is 9. And then I'm going to look at 8 squared, which is 64. And then uh, this may be my last one, which is... Um, Ooh, I don't think I can do this. It's not going to fit. Oh yeah, it should fit. I'm not even going to figure out what it is. <laughs> I guess I can. Um, 377 plus 55 plus 8 plus 1, I believe, is um, 441. Yes, makes sense. Okay, and so, but you can see it makes a nice easy pattern. You take whatever you had and you add another one after uh, skipping 3. Okay, so those are half of the Fibonacci numbers, and you can imagine it just continues on. Now, I'm just going to insert the, the next ones, and I'm going to, this is why I put this extra one here, because it's going to be useful later. But um, 2 squared is 4, um, 5 squared is 25, notice now I'm skipping 4 again, then I'm going to do the next one. And this next one, this last one's not going to fit. But anyway, what do we have here? And so this last one was uh, <laughs> 25. Right? 25. Right? So that's 21 plus 4. And then um, the next one is 25 plus 144. Um, <clears throat> is 169, which is... 13 squared. Anyway, you can see this pattern develops. And so the squares of Fibonacci numbers makes this cute little pattern. It turns out that I'm more interested in the pattern than the squares. So one little fact that happens that if I say 5 times 5, I get um, this pattern here. But if I wanted to take 5 times 8, let's focus on that one for a minute. I'll leave 5 times 5 there, and imagine I want instead 5 times 8. Well, the really interesting part of all this is that it simply shifts up. And so that is 5 times 8. So 5 shifted up 1. And 5 times 13 is the next row. Okay? And so let me just verify this for you. So what is 1 plus 5, 6, plus 34? 40. 5 times 8, 40. Um, 5 times 13 is 65, or 2 plus 8, 10, plus 55. Now let's see if I can do one more to convince you. Um, this would be 5 times 21, which would be 105, or 98 plus 13 plus 3. Um, which is 105. Anyway, this pattern here is what I'd like to use um, um, to do a general multiplication. Anyway, for now, I'll end this video, keep it short, but here what we've shown is how to multiply two different Fibonacci numbers, generally. Okay. So what we have to memorize is the pattern of how the odds and even squares occur. And so essentially the first uh, the even ones go like this. They start with this magic one here <laughs> and um, they continue up this way. And the, the way the other ones work is they start here and they work more regularly jumping like this. Okay, and so remember this pattern because it will come in handy in the next video. Anyway, multiplying Fibonacci numbers. Okay, cheers and uh, study well.